Hi guys, I'm in my jammies. I'm gonna make my bed. I have an electric um, bed frame and I'm gonna show you how to make your bed really fast and easy by yourself if you're old like me, I'm 78. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. I don't know if you can see me, I guess. First of all, I'm gonna put my bed up. And this will make it so you can put your neck, put your sheets on by yourself. I'll put it up as high as I can get it. Woo! That's higher than me. Get all your wrinkles out. I have a thick mattress and so I have real deep pockets. Um, I think this is 22 inch pockets because I have a topper on my bed. I have a thick mattress and then I have a thick topper. So I have to have steps to get in it because I'm only 5'3". But anyway, this makes it a whole lot easier. If I had a blanket out, it'd be easier. You know, I'm just going to take the blanket out. Well, this is kind of crazy. should have taken the blanket out before I put the mattress up. This is going to be kind of dumb. Anybody has a 78 year old mother making a bed by herself needs to go and help her make it. Okay, now we're going to start it all over. Here we go. Boom. This is right. I don't even know if I have the right end. <laughs> this is crazy. my ends. There's my end and there's my end. Okay. Here we go.
You can't really get it in here till you bring the bed down a little bit. But you got the idea. I crazy. Just call me crazy Karen. Okay, now it comes over here. See, and then you can get behind the mattress and get it down all the way. As long as you get it up there, then you can get it down here because this doesn't hurt. It's hard to get it up there when the, it's hard to get it up in the headboard. Put the bed back down. Put the bed back down. Hello there. <laughs> this is not going as well as usual. Now you can finish the bottom. That's the easy part. And then it just goes around the mattress. And it's so easy. And I have one of these little things if I have to lift the mattress up. But I don't need it. Let me go get the other side. If I could find it. Here it is. Top sheet. Hospital fold. Nice pretty fold. Hospital fold.
quilt. I'm not going to use another blanket, it's getting warm. Then my pillows. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. And I like foam pillows. And I buy good ones. I have two small and then I have a thicker one that I hug at night. One I love on, one's on my back, and one like this. And it's not that easy to do pillows either when you're short. usually easier to get them on than it is to get them off. And I don't have three that match. So my loving pillow gets a different pillowcase. There, now that took a lot longer because I couldn't find my corner. Uh, for people that don't know, and I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it on the new sheets. In one corner, the same corner on every sheet and every blanket and every quilt, it's got your tag. That tag is supposed to go in the bottom right hand corner of your bed facing it. So I put all my corners at the bottom over there and then everything matches up but I couldn't find my corner so I wasn't sure when I was up in the front there and that took me too long but usually this takes a lot less time I look kind of goofy but it's okay but anyway the idea is if you've got one of the push button um, bed whatever platforms it's easier to make your bed and some people that have the head and the foot like my cousin Debbie, she puts them both up and then she hooks them on and then it goes down. But it just makes it a whole lot easier. So there's my bed and it looks pretty nice. And that's kind of how not to do it and how to do it really. If you, if I would have done what I 
know to tell you, looking at my corners and put them there, it would have gone very fast. And that's a big job for an old lady by herself. So just remember if your granny or your mama or aunt or something lives alone, I don't, but he's not feeling real good right now, <coughs> my husband, but go help them make their bed once a week. I mean, change it, because it really is kind of a hard job. Okay, Crazy Karen signing off. Oh, by the way, my Ozempic, um, I took my shot on Friday. I'm not doing pictures anymore because people complain about my fat legs, but um, I was down to 169, but for some reason, I'm 173 today. Um, you do fluctuate up and down. I think it might have been that I had soup yesterday, which is salty. Plus, I've been eating a little bit of those um, peach Jolly Ranchers. So I might have gained a little bit, plus some of its water weight. But you do fluctuate up and down. I, this is a lot, four pounds. Usually it's two or three pounds, but um, I'm sure I'll be fine tomorrow. Anyway, bye everybody. Bye-bye.